Hello, it's Gary Fox here, and tonight I'm going to show a little example of how you have to do a workaround sometimes. I you have ended up kind of boxing yourself in a corner on CAD, and uh, you have to figure out a way of uh, trying to unbox yourself in the corner. So uh, I have a uh, viewer, his name's Bob, and uh, he builds, he's building a really big model airplane, and uh, he was using polyline, and polyline, he can't break it where he wants to. So the very first thing, I didn't know a workaround, so I'm going to be trying stuff, so the very first thing I want to do is copy the drawing before I ever mess with it. So now I have a copy of the drawing and I'll go ahead and open up the copy. And once I do, you can see it, it's way over there. I don't know exactly, I think there's a uh, dot right here. Let's see if we can erase that. And that dot's not on there. That dot is some junk on my screen. Anyhow, we'll zoom in. We'll zoom in on this thing. You can see this is the nose of the airplane that he's building. And what his problem is, is he'd like to break these this polyline at these slots, but the polyline won't break here. So the first thing I'm going to do is. Uh, play with polyline just a little bit and uh, so I'll create a polyline obviously I'm just making one and then I'm going to try to make a line and see if I can break it We'll make a line right here, and let's see if it will break, and I don't think it will. And it won't. And that's the deal with polylines. So what he said is exactly right. Let's go ahead and erase that. So what we'll do, we'll zoom in now. So we got to come up with a way of breaking this. So I tried a couple different things. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two new layers. And uh, we'll call it bogus. <coughs> we got, we'll try bogus green. Since we already have these other colors in here. And we'll create one more, and we'll call it bogus. Uh, let's pick a color. I already got blue. Red's taken up. We'll try gray. Okay, so now I've got some couple new lines. And I... Let's just try black. Okay, I've got two new bogus lines. Now what I'm going to do, if you notice, uh, one that he's got this polyline on is this one, and if I turn it off, I turn off more stuff than I want to because I want to still see these things. So what I'm going to do is a change property on this one. And uh, I'm going to change that to bogus grain, uh, black. Okay, so now I can turn off this line without turning off that line. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this. And 
have to go back one menu. Go to select. I am going to select this polyline. And what that did for me, it shows all the dots that are inside that polyline. So now we're going to zoom in to the very front. And what I'm going to do is go to Bogus Green. And I'm going to uh, do a two-point line. And I'm going to snap to endpoints. So now what I have, instead of having a polyline, I have a whole bunch of lines that are all butted together. And uh, as we work our way on around this thing, let's see if we can zoom out, yeah. And at this one, I'm going to go to the end of that line that we're wanting to break it at. Okay, let's see what it looks like. What we'll do is we will, uh, I really don't have a way to do it. <laughs> let's go back to Bogus Green. We'll modify it just a little bit. We'll make the line a little bit wider. And it's still not looking real good. We'll make it really wide. Let's turn bogus black off. Okay, now we can see it. And it's looking like it's doing the job for me. So we'll turn it back on. But it zoomed this far out. It's a little bit tough to do. And now I'll continue on with my two-point line. I'm still in bogus green. We'll go to this endpoint, to this dot that was in the middle, and right there. And we'll do this one. And we'd continue on doing all of them that way. We got to the very end of this thing. Okay. Now I'm going to turn off Bogus Black. And you can see we're getting it. And we even have the points already broke. Now what I could do is that I can then go back to the points that I have here and I'll go back and do a change properties only I'm going to have to select all of them and the easiest way to do that would be turn those off zoom out just a little bit Selecting a little more than I care to select. Okay. So I'm missing one line right there. And we'll select these while we're at it. And the one. Okay, and now I change the layer. Oops, what am I doing? Cancel. I 
change layer. I'll make it back to the laser line, which is what he had originally. And I got a problem <laughs> because I selected also the old one. So let's go here somewhere I, where I haven't done it. And now you see why you always have a back out method. Since I did it in the uh, break points, I know that it has to be the polyline. And I change its color to, or its layer back to bogus black. It disappeared. Because I got bogus black turned off. And now we can see what I've done. As you see, we didn't exactly do what he asked me to do. Because it's not possible. But we were able to do a workaround to give him what he wants. I will continue on doing the rest of the points there. And uh, work it all the way around the whole system. The whole model there. But uh, being a semi-nice guy, <laughs> I left it approximately like this. Told him how I was doing it. And then that way he gets the fun of learning as well as... Uh, getting something out of it so anyhow there's the way I do workarounds first thing is always save and then create bogus layers always save the whole drawing then later on create bogus layers and then do your workaround however you need to using the bogus layers and then you can convert those back into the real drawing it's pretty much uh, the way uh, would do all of this. I would probably try to do a mirror after I get done, but a mirror may not fit exactly. So it may be necessary to do the same thing with the polyline up the top. Uh, but that's basically it, uh, and that's how I would do workarounds. Uh, there's always a method on these things, always. Appreciate you listening. Hopefully you got something out of this. This is Gary Fox of Create and Make.